Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this week's video, we are doing a full face of Morphe. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I decided to do this because as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Morphe. I love Morphe makeup in general. I love their palettes, their brushes. I don't fucking know. Lipsticks. Um, I have a lot of their skin products, like makeup skin products. I felt like this would be a good thing to do. Um, I already did my brows though, so... I don't have any brow products from Morphe, that's the only thing. I kind of use the same thing and I'm very cheap with my brows because, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to get into it. If you guys like this video, give it a big old thumbs up down below. Click that big red subscribe button down below and click that post notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go into is the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint Morphe 2. Um, I've only tried this once. It does give a very dewy finish, so if you guys really do like that then i suggest you guys use it obviously i'm not like super big with dewy skin because i'm very full coverage but we're gonna try it for the one time all right so i'm gonna blend this in i'll be right back all right so the next thing we're using is the morphe 2 hide and peak concealer in pico vanilla Oh wow, I love this. I have never tried this, guys. I honestly just bought it because I don't have any Morphe concealers. So I'm going to put this right here and put it up here. If you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, I have a bunch of mirrors around me, so... Okay, and then we're going to blend it out and come back. Alright, so now I contoured with the Dimension Effect Highlight Contour Stick in, I think, Effect 15? Hold on. Yeah, I think it's effect 15. And now we're just going to blend it out. I put it on my nose and I put it on my forehead. I always do my nose for sure because my nose is sometimes acting weird and I don't like how it looks sometimes. But I'm okay with it. And then I'm just going to blend it up and I put it up here on the top like where you guys see that. Wet your sponge out. I'm telling you right now it does wonders when you wet your sponge. So yeah. We're just going to blend that and then I'll be back. Alright, so next I'm going to use a mix of the Avani bronzer. This one. And then I'm also going to use a bit of this bronzer from Morphe. This one on a very light hand because she's very pigmented. Like I told y'all, pigmented as well. But she's very blendable, so... has a little bit of shimmer so hmm. all right y'all next thing i'm gonna grab is my morphe banana setting powder and i'm gonna just set under my eyes and carve out the nose by the way I put I do like the Nikki tutorials hack where she puts like contour all over the nose so e. and then I just carve it out with the, the powder blush from morphe grab my blush brush and dip into some pink shadows from my 35b palette yes yeah, she's well loved y'all so i'm gonna dip into the light pink one and this corally one and the one on the bottom and see how that works for me i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared i'm gonna dust it off a little bit because you're a girl scared It's not that bad, actually. 
Wow, it's not bad. Holy shit, I like that. Oh wow, this is actually really pretty. Period. Period. Poo. So I'm going to teach you guys my hack with my setting powder. I don't brush it off. I like to... Well, this is what I normally do with that. I like to just push it in. But if it looks patchy like that, I'll dust off the nose a little bit. And then... This I dust off. I get into eyeshadow. I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous. I just got it in my mouth. <laughs> just spray that all in the face so that they can set your base. I make a mess. Alright, so I'm going to be using the 35B because I haven't really used her much. So this is her. She is loved, y'all. Don't get me wrong. She is loved. Because most of them are have have hit like pan and like the yellows for sure have hit pan so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to go for like I don't know if you guys remember the character Esmeralda I'm gonna go for a vibe like that this one so this little moment right here I have actually never really used this color that much to be honest cuz I don't know it's not my vibe I guess and all I'm going to do is my eyes already have um, concealer from my eyebrows, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to trace out the line. Oh, by the way, because I'm already on here with you guys, um, if you guys ever really want to learn like basics of makeup please let me know i'm so down to film like basic looks for you guys um like to learn how to do a cut crease um but obviously it's gonna be my take on it because i don't a lot of us don't do makeup the same and yeah i just feel like it would be cool to give you guys my take on it i blend it out so it gives it the more vibrant color and then we're gonna cut the crease. All right, y'all, next I'm gonna grab this small, tiny detailing brush and I'm gonna dip into this color right here. And I'm just gonna like wing it out. Actually, no, I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna blend that out like smoky eye. All right, so now I'm gonna grab that pink color that I showed, which is this one right here on top. The blend all oh, right on top, right on top. And you're just gonna go in back with that first shade just so it gives it that definition and that darkness because that's what you still want all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab these two colors this purple right here that's how it looks and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this like pinky kind of purple mix them together and now we're just gonna place them right on top right here all right so now I'm gonna grab some glitter liner and fix it up all right so now I'm gonna use the morphe matte in boo and I'm gonna do my lips I know that you afraid it feels like every day things are slipping away so I did not have any Morphe lashes, 
So I decided to use Gavali lashes in the style, let's see, in the style Ariel. So, yeah, I put a little bit of this Morphe gloss. This is in the shade It's a Vibe, period. Now we're going to find a little highlight shade in a makeup palette. <sighs> so let me see if I can find one. We're going to use James Charles palette and, we're, and I'm going to dip into face. And I'm going to dip into a little bit of ring light as well. So, And then blend it with the finger. I don't want like an extreme amount. But I already did that, fuck. Oh well, I'm gonna have to blend it with my finger. I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is a sister. I kinda just want a neutral little pinky color for the center, so nobody clock me for it. I don't think, I don't wanna do too much color because I already have a lot of color in the eye. And by the way, if you guys wonder what I do when. I do colorful eyes, I always do a nude lips, lip combo because, or a brown, because it's too much color and you don't want too much color. Alright guys, that is the end of this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please get your ass out there to go play with some color. It's so much fun. You can create so many different looks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, give it a big old like. And subscribe to the channel. Click that big red subscribe button down below. And click that post notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. These fucking motorcycles. Thank you guys. Podcast listed down below. And all my socials are listed down below. So you guys get more makeup content or other content besides that. Follow me on Instagram. And you guys can also follow me on TikTok for more behind the scenes content. Bye, y'all.